Heyo, Kabita Tech here, and today we're checking out the new B3 Cream Yellow Pro switches that were sent over by Ako for an honest review. Quick specs, this linear switch is an upgraded version of the original Cream Yellows and can be found at your local Ako Shopee store, Ako Gear's website, and my guess is data bleed soon for our Philippine viewers. The top is made of polycarbonate with a PA slash nylon bottom, long pole dust proof stem, as well as a 50 gram operation force. Main change that comes with this one from the OG one is that it is a 5 pin switch and has a dust proof stem for better stability than before. The change from a kale to a cherry housing, upgraded contacts, as well as pre lubricated rails to reduce any scratchiness coming from the switch. In my experience, this feels so smooth out of the box. Sound wise, it's on the clockier spectrum, only lessened if you lube it a bit further. But overall, it sounds so nice. I've mounted mine on the Monskik M3, Akko's first TKL in the Monskik sub brand, and expect a video on this soon. But for now, my config is with all the foams except PE foam, and with the polycarbonate plate and force brake mod attached. For the low price of 13 pesos, or about a quarter per switch, I'd say this is a bang for the buck. I haven't felt the need to even lube this, as straight out of the box, this sounds so nice and feels so nice. I think the addition of the 5 pin config and dust proof stem is a nice change, and I know a lot of higher end enthusiasts wanted this change, so that they could mount this on a plateless soldered build. Though, if you own the originals, I don't think you need to upgrade to this. I've watched Toki Doki's review and I heard no difference coming from the Pro and non-Pro variant of the Switch. It's just those quality of life improvements that made this much better than the OG ones. For me, I'd recommend this in a heartbeat. How about you? What do you think of the Switch? Let me know down below. I'm Johan J. Binwaba and I'll see you in the next video.